there are different type of defects i'm just trying to show you the 3d one so initially that was just a top view i showed you so this is the uh, different different metals so you can see there is a dielectric there is a metal then there is a via then there is a metal so you were expecting something like this like okay this type of structure you will get in this particular structure you were like okay the thickness across this is constant the width is also constant but the actual if if i will tell you frankly something you will get something like this and this is this is still a very very good picture even in this particular picture you can see so many so many type of variation so many type of defects are there for example this this is basically the thickness portion so here we were expecting something like this this going to be the constant across uh, the width here we are saying like okay no the thickness has vary somewhere it is the 100% like in a t here the less than t here again the less than t so that means we are talking about like okay when we are doing the fabrication at that particular time there is a thickness variation so metal thickness variation dielectric thickness variation via thickness variation anything can be there but the point is thickness variation is going to be happen so if anyone is going to ask you like okay thickness variation why we are talking about the thickness variation because that's a something foundry said like okay in my process this happen so as such as a designer we don't have any control we are not going to uh, make any changes here we cannot do that particular part similarly if you will see uh, in a from the dielectric point of view also so this is also the dielectric here also you can see the thickness variation happens so thickness variation of metal thickness variation of uh, dielectric both thing happen then if you will see the width here also or here also this this one is a good picture uh, so that you can understand here also if you will see this is this is the width we are talking about across the thickness from top to bottom the width supposed to be constant but here what is happening at the top, uh, at the bottom your width is uh, is on a uh, large in size and then the uh, bottom your width is small in size the small in the sense the typical one with respect to the typical or the the dimension which you have uh, came up like okay, that should be the width with respect to that there is a variation in the width and that variation in the width is across the thickness so that means now you can see there is a width variation also and now if the width is going to vary then there is a space variation also so you can see here the space is less here the space is more so when you are going to calculate the capacitance between this wire and this wire then we usually consider uh, the coupling cap we say like okay epsilon a by d and that d we say like okay this is a space but what happened and, and we usually talk about the parallel plate but here you will see these are not the parallel plates parallel plates across the plate the space or the distance is going to be constant but in this particular example what is happening your space is changing at this particular place is spacing something else at this particular place is spacing something else and now if i will ask you like okay you have to calculate you have to tell me like okay what is going to be the capacitance and then you will say like okay c equals to epsilon a by d that's formula is not going to help me a lot now so in this particular formula c equals to epsilon a or maybe you can say the thickness by s this is not going to we cannot apply this particular formula straight forward even if i will consider like okay the thickness uh, that this particular area which i am just talking about this this is constant even in that particular case i cannot say like okay the s is going to be the constant then you will say like okay what i am going to do i will just make it as a dc and the ds like delta c and the delta s that means i am going to take i am going to calculate the capacitance in a very small portion i will say like okay this is the parallel plate this is the capacitance and for this the space is basically the s and then here i will say it is a it is a s plus delta s so if you remember in the first semester of engineering or in the even the 12th 11th we are, we were doing similar kind of thing like okay dc epsilon t by uh, ds and then we are going to integrate it we are going to integrate this particular part where s equals to maybe s minus delta s to s equals to s plus delta s or i will say the minimum s minimum s and that means we are not going to integrate 
from one one um, uh, one spacing to the another spacing and then it is going to the c effective from the from the calculation point of view when i gave you the idea last time it was very simple formula c equals to epsilon a by d and maybe you may be thinking like okay it's great uh, how can uh, uh, it can be so easy maybe you may be thinking in that particular way but yes till that particular point i haven't introduced you this particular part and in this particular part you can see what is what is happening and now this is this is just for one dimension remember this spacing is only for one dimension assuming like okay the thickness is constant what about if the this thickness variation will also happen if the thickness variation will also happen then you will have one more integration one volt delta t and the integration what about if uh, i will talk about like okay there going to be a because this is going to be the three dimensional thing so right now at this particular point this is a s what about across the length because this is the length of the wire across the length things are going to change then you will say like okay across the length also i have to apply the similar kind of delta l related thing like okay in a per unit length we are talking about but in a per unit length also we have to see like what are the, what are those changes are there so now you can see your your c is going to change as per the effects as per the defects which uh, which are there and it the formula the c the calculation of c is going to be complex and from the from the design point of view from the calculation point of view we have to we have to check this particular part we have to make sure like okay my chip should work in all the worst case scenario even if both the if the spacing is very close whether, whether the spacing is uh, less than the whole spacing it should uh, or it is greater than the whole spacing now these two type of defects we will discuss little bit in detail because uh, in a interview sometime people ask 